In this video, I'm going to show you what I like to put on my Dungeon Master screen and how I set it up in Foundry. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is your Dungeon Master screen. Uh, I like to use GM Screen by Andrew Krigline. But even if you're not using Foundry, there's other options online like 5e.tools slash DM screen. I'll put a link for that in the description. Uh, once you have that, you'll need to know what stuff you want to put in there and set that up. So we'll start with our journals here. Once you start creating your journal entries, you can fill it out however you want from creating your own custom tables like you see me doing here. And I can also adjust the colors to make it look how I want. Uh, or you can copy and paste from the Player's Handbook, Dungeon Master's Guide, or any other online resource you find. Here I'm copying and pasting from my Eberron book. And here you can see me actually doing a mixture of copying a table over using some bullet points and creating my own table. You can also add hyperlinks into your journals. Uh, so here you can see me double click a word to highlight it and then I hold Control K and it brings up this menu, Control V to paste in the link and OK. I'm a big fan of using all the resources at my disposal and hyperlinks and just having everything readily available is a plus for playing virtually. Once you have all of your journals filled out, you can go adjust your GM screen settings. Uh, so you'll go to the tabs at configure, you'll set up how many tabs or pages you want, and you can adjust the rows and columns. You'll likely have to play with this as you go, but this is what I'm using. And let's get started. Once you get to this point, you're ready to just start throwing your journals on there. Uh, it is as simple as dragging and dropping. Uh, you can also make certain ones bigger, like I'm doing right here, uh, and I have it take up all of the columns, and uh, even then I'll still have to do a little bit of scrolling, but that is all right. So that's more of the technical aspect of how to set it up. Now on to what I like to actually have on my Dungeon Master screen. On the first page, which I have titled Main, I have all the rules that come up more regularly or that I may not just know off the top of my head, uh, so different prices for you know, food, drinks, things like that. Uh, lighting comes up a lot, so I also have the lighting on there and different Sharn rules. Uh, I don't always play in Sharn, so it's nice to have some of the different um, cost for using some of the mage rights or some of the different services that they have there. Next, I like to have a page specifically just for conditions, all of them laid out. And you can see I use homebrew rules for exhaustion. And so I have that on there as well. Then I have a random page. This changes depending on where I'm at in the campaign and the rules they come up. But this is what I'm looking at right now. Um, some of the ones that may stay on there are like concentration, suffocation, jumping. Uh, for some reason, jumping comes up a lot and I forget the specific rules on jumping or I ignore them, but I still like to have them on there for reference. I also like having things like improv damage or if you have traps, the damage severity or how much the traps should do. And so this is an example of what is behind my DM screen. The last thing I have on there is a page for my PC so that if I need to check anything like their passive perception, their armor class, whatever, it's all there. And I only have four PCs in my current campaign. And so it works out really nice. That was it. Quick video for you. That is what is on my DM screen. I'm curious to know what all you like having behind your screens when you run a game. So uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. 